3, find the equation of the curve for gradient function which passes through the given point. So we see here, we know that when we have y, so when we do differentiation, we get dy over dx. So when you when we integrate back, we will get y. So to find the equation, we know equation is y, we have to integrate dy over dx. So here we see that dy over dx is equal to 9x squared minus 2. So we know that y is equal to integration of 9x squared minus 2 with respect to x. See here, so now we integrate. So we see here, this one is indefinite integral. That means we don't have range. So we need to add with plus c. So at the end, we need to add with plus c. Why? For example, if you have y is equal to 3, when we do dy over dx, the constant will become 0. So we don't know what is the constant. So this one, we just put it as plus c. Alright, so this one 9 x square. So you take out the constant and then so like usual integration you add power with 1 and then you divide power. So you add the power with 1 so x3 divided by 3 minus 2 2 x. So we know that constant will become plus x and then you need to add with plus c at the end. So 9 divided by 3, we get 3x cubed minus 2x plus c. So this is our y, right? But then for the equation, we cannot have c. We need to know what is the value of c. But it's given that this one is 1, 6. So we have 3 unknown. When 2 of it is known, we can know what is the other unknown. So y is 6. 3, we get 1 cubed minus 2, 1 plus C. So, 6 is equal to 3, 1 power of anything is 1, minus 2 plus C. 6 is equal to 3, minus 2 plus C. 6 is equal to 1 plus C. So, you want to get what is C, you bring this one backward. It will become negative. C minus 1, 5. So, you know C is 5. So, the final answer y is equal to 3x cubed minus 2x plus 5. So this is the answer. For b, so dy over dx is equal to 10x minus 2. So passing through 2. 13. So, integration of 10x minus 2. So, y is integration of 10x minus 2 dx. So, when you integrate, we take out constant and then you add power with 1. So, x is actually x power of 1 plus 1 divided with power. So, power is 1 plus 1 is 2. Minus 2 will become 2x and then at the end, need to add plus c. So, 10 divided by 2 is 5. 5x square minus 2x plus c. So here you see y is equal to 5x square minus 2x plus c. Okay, but we have this point 2 and 13, so we can find what is our c. So y is 13, x is equal to 2, 2 square minus 2, 2 plus c. So 13 is equal to 5, 4 minus 4 plus c. 13 is equal to 20 minus 4 plus C. 13 is equal to 16 plus C. C is actually, you bring this one back, it will become 13 minus 16, which is negative 3. So now you get your C. So your Y is equal to 5X square minus 2X minus 3. So this is the answer for this one. C dy over dx is equal to 24x square minus 5 with point 0.11. One. So y is equal to integration of 24x square minus 5 dx. So when you integrate 24, you take out the constant. So the power at with 1, x3 divided with 3, 
or you can divide with everything also same minus 5 5x because constant we get 5x don't forget c so 24 so 24 over 3 is equal to 8 x cubed minus 5x plus c so you have here y is equal to 8x cubed minus 5x plus c so to get y we need to know what is our c so it's given 1 1 so you just substitute y is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 so 1 is equal to 8 1 cubed minus 5 1 plus c so 1 is equal to 8 minus 5 plus C. 1 is equal to 3 plus C. C is equal to, so you bring 3 to the other side. So 1 minus 3, we get negative 2. So when we know the C, we can get the equation. So Y is equal to 8X cubed minus 5X. So this one is minus 2. So, d dy over dx is equal to 18x squared plus 10x. So, we have negative 2 and negative 10. So, y is equal to integration of 18x squared plus 10x delta x dx. So, this one we have 18. When we, differentiate, when we integrate, we take out the constant. So, we integrate the one with this one, you see? the variable x so this one is x 3 and then we divide the power so 2 plus 1 divide with 3 add power with 1 and then divide the power after you add 1 okay so this one is plus so you take out the constant 10 so x is actually x power of 1 plus 1 and then you divide with power after you settle you just add plus c at the end so here 18 divided by 3 you get 6 x 3 10 divided by 2, we get 5. This one is x square plus c. Okay. So now we have y is equal to 6x cubed plus 5x square plus c. So we need to know what is our c. It's given that point is negative 2, negative 10. So we just substitute y with negative 10 and x with negative 2. So this one is negative 10 is equal to 6. This one is negative 2 cubed plus 5 x will become negative 2 square plus c so negative 10 is equal to 6 negative 2 cube is negative 8 or you can just use calculator to get the uh, value so just negative 48 plus 20 plus c so negative 10 is equal to negative 48 plus 20 is negative 28 plus c so you want to get c you bring this one to the left so negative will become positive. So C is equal to negative 10 plus 28 which is actually 18. So the equation Y is equal to 6X cubed plus 5X square. This one is plus 18. This one is 18. So this is the answer.